Hello everybody, I'm Bones. Sorry it's taken us so long to get to our last and final, final budget survival game. The price of this one, zero dollars free. Out of the three, just for nostalgia's sake, this is my favorite. Stranded 2 came out. Um, I actually found out about this during a very good time. I, I was hit with depression. Some of you know I've talked very candidly and openly. I don't lie to you guys. But I suffer from severe depression. Not just depression, but clinically severe depression. Which means that I uh, have been suicidal a few times in my life. I don't lie about it. It's been very severe. And it's an ongoing thing that I've had to deal with. And I have had uh, counseling. I've kept it under control. I've kept strong with it. It's a one day at a time thing. Um, I'm not a drug user, so it's nothing like that. It's not caused by, um, it's not caused by anything. That's the problem with it, you know? If it was like, oh, I lost a thousand dollars at the horse track, well, okay, of course you're gonna have a bad day, but I can be having a great day and then just, boom, it's just there. Um, and as I've said before in my case, it's not so much that depressed people feel less. I think that's the stereotype. If you have a friend with depression to give you a little insight, I said I feel like we get overwhelmed by emotions and feel too much. Like a sad song to you on the radio may make you sad, and they make me overwhelmed with sadness, if that makes any sense. Anyways, let's get out of that. The designer of this is currently claiming he's working on the third. He's got a blog if you Google Stranded 3. You can keep up with the updates. He says he may make this free. If he does sell it, it'll be on Steam Greenlight. He's got thousands of fans worldwide. There are even mods for Stranded 2 if you look it up. So I have no doubt it's going to get greenlit. I'll vote to get it greenlit. Um, now these are uh, Nintendo 64 type graphics, I described it says. So graphically, this is the weakest of the three, but game gameplay wise, it's the strongest. You'll see what I mean. Um, and we're gonna do Earth Adventure, which is a four park. And of course, the dog's gotta go. Hey! We're shooting a video. Knock it off. There's a four park, uh. Of course, right? We got mutant dogs over there. Oh, he's acting up. Adventure is a four park, kind of like tutorial and the storyline. Like, there is a story you can actually get unshipwrecked and go back home. We're not doing that. To make this fair, there are no zombies in this one, thank god. Um, instead we're gonna do a survival, so I'm gonna do a single island. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make a random island. So we're gonna choose a pig. I uh, guess normal. Endless gameplay, normal. Now there's raptor hunter, which puts raptors on. Uh, endless gameplay, normal. Now the reason the text looks so small is because I'm on a rather large monitor. Not the biggest. I'm like 19, you know, 1920, 1080, so not the biggest. There is a widescreen fix if you Google it. This is ready right out of the box. You, I'll link you below. You install it. Google widescreen fix. It's a simple text editor fix. It takes you less than a minute. You put in your screen thing. You hit save, and you're ready to go, guys. And it's free. You don't like it, just to uninstall it. You don't even have to install it. You can just use a zip file, put it in a folder, put it on a flash drive. You can even do that. Uh, lots of people I know keep this on a flash drive to play in case they go places. Um, or, you know, college computers when they shouldn't be playing it. Uh, I don't know any of our fans who would be doing that. Probably will now. Sorry, Professor. So let's get into it. Now those words are normally much bigger. You're trying to try to survive. Besides uh, this, there's no special uh, aim. Have fun. Average amount of resources and dangerous animals. You have some uh, victuals at the start. I think he means vitals. I'm not gonna hold it against him. There's a little character. There's your rucksack. You have a little diary. And we're gonna close the diary and get our butts up on land, shall we? Now, pluses to this one. You can dig. You get a digging score. You have actual things on there. There's my toy. Don't 
Hey, turtle. I hate to have to say this, but I'm gonna kill this turtle. Um, and there is a reason. It's not gonna be a dick. Because turtles give you leather. And leather is good for two things. And they give you meat. Leather is good for crafting a tent. And I tend to be a bit nomadic. I just carry everything. Um, and they give you a honking bit of meat. Um, now, you do get the old fashioned Minecraft punch and you get wood, punch and you get stone, punch and you get all that. I should point out though, this came out before Minecraft stone, so, respect. Um, I'm not gonna kill another fish because I feel awful there. I mean, I could, because, yeah. Anyway, so, one thing that we need to do now that we got those two. Uh, what is it? C? C opens your backpack. And I do not have what I need. I get ready to show you. I need to hit this tree. And you'll see uh, a fine leaf. Uh, what I'm looking for here is a branch, some branches. You can use barks actually and get the insects that you can actually either eat. You can eat slime, which isn't ideal. Let's so you combine these and hit plus. And it shows you what you can make. So now that's what that. I'm talking about. And he says that's what I'm talking about in a British voice, because for some reason, uh, the Swedish developer went with a uh, British sounding dude. And, uh, you know, I'm cool with it. Whatever. So now we're going to put that in our little handy hand. And now we got ourselves a weapon. It's not a great weapon, but it's a weapon. Um, but there's a bigger reason for this, and that is that if we right click, we can actually build. So you can make a tent, we click that, okay. and I'm just going to set that down, let's get the reason to do that, and it says out loud, let's get with the building, I believe, I'm doing horrible, is, uh, I don't have a look at for it, I need, I believe, 10 pieces of the stick, and 10 pieces of the other turtle, so sorry, I feel horrible, I can't do that again. Sorry. I love you, turtle. Ugh, it's too heavy. Kill me. It's too heavy. I know it's too heavy. I'm already it's carrying too much. Heavy. Great, so that's that's good. I just wasted it. Uh, I can't carry place. anything more. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I understand there is a semblance and a a real world need that. You know, not everything is shiny and huggy and happy, and things have to happen, but... Oh, I will say this. You see this here? Ugh, it's too heavy. Now this here is basically me breaking a oh, lion pen. These are considered a den of a lion. So when you can break these, it's and I'm shocked the lion can arrange this what's going yeah, They're gonna. But because I want a little wiggle room to explore, we're it's trying to get these the hell out of here. They will eventually break us for you. There we go. So that lion is going to wake up and be like, what the hell, man? And there's also it's monkeys. And there's heavy. some... Come on, dude. Can I really fit nothing else? Is that where I'm at? Looks like I'm going to have to dump some stuff off here. So we're going to dump the rocks off that I have here. Don't even make jokes, because I know. I know where we're going with this. And yes, there are. I don't know if it's worse that I get to perverse jokes or that you all are perverse. Or that we're both perverse. It's both of us, let's be honest. A big mushroom, you can eat that, I believe. And we'll go right for you. And some bread. Well, you can also make a bendy stick here. Now, you could use it for a bow and arrow, but that's not why I use it. I use it as a fishing rod. Because fishing in games... Um, I'll tell you why I'm so, like, adamant about that. Because I got teased about this a bit, actually. Um, and it didn't bother me, because boo friggin' who. But I do want to point out that there is a method to my madness for bitching about this. But, uh, what's the other one we did? Andrillo? To the maker of Andrillo, who was like, why do you care so much about the fishing? Well, I will tell you why, sir. Um, because I believe, in real life, if I was a survivalist, I would be 
uh, two two for Cocoa Puffs when it came to fishing. That would be the first thing I would want to do. Now keep watching what I'm doing here, guys, because I'm going to show you guys some survival tips for this game. Um, I'm a pro at this. This is not a new game. I've, I've played this for years. I've uninstalled it, but I'll tell you what. I'm glad we're doing this one. This is cotton or wool. Now you're going to hit use over here. You make cord. You want to make all the cord you can with it. You're going to combine one of them and make a fishing rod. You're going to combine a bunch of them with just a stick and make a net. The reason you're going to make that net, by the way, you can like do the old fishing like RPG thing like you can do in Bethesda games and hotkey it. I normally keep mine, I think I'm like 9. You know what I mean? Um, it's not like a much needed item. But watch. So see here? So boom. It works! Fishing rod. So my fishing rod, I consider a tool, not a weapon. I think I keep that like around 4. Um, anyways, now we have this and we have this. So we're gonna try and make a net. Now that's what I'm talking about. The net is one of the most important, and I'm not kidding you, it really is one of the most important things we can get. And I'm about to run around like an idiot here and show you why. The net, you can run around and get the butterflies with them. The reason you want butterflies, and you'll think I'm crazy right now, is because every butterfly you nab, God, how am I so horrible at this? Um, is more weight you can carry. That's how he rolled with that in this game. It's not my favorite method, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but at the same point, you also get free bait. So, like, if, for example, you can use this net and get a dragonfly going by, that's free bug bait. So, it has more than one use in this. I am horrible at this, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with that. Um,. So that looks like some gold nuggeting. Um, I need to find, I think, a vine or something as well here. Oh. I don't that. You gotta be vigilant here for these, for these other things. I feel horrible about killing myself a, uh, turtle. That just, that feels very wrong. Not at all, but I don't know. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna down the field so I can put some bullshit on it. And we're going to build a different field so I can just gonna build a small shelter. Which is just a uh, small like little lean to. Um, I don't think it's hard. No, that's it. No, just your mouth. I've set up the building sites. Yeah, and then you can right click here and you use your stuff. Um, now, you do have to do this in order to unlock bigger bonus sites. It's a fact that I don't like it. And I wish I could do that. But I'm not trying to throw the dude a little shit, but incoming shit. I do wish he had done that a little bit at first. Yeah, I don't like that. But we're multi-casting here and there's a reason for it. My neighbors up there and scared the hell out of me if I was a lion. The lions do not fuck around in this game. Let me preface this highly. They do not fuck around. You will die. Simba ain't playing. Alright? I'm not kidding you. And I hope that you all can hear me in this, because if you can't, I'm gonna be pissed that I wasted however long I wasted on one of these videos. Um. We've been having a lot of internal talks around here at Bones and Gary. Um, like I said, we have the idea of doing like a Cooking with Gary channel. Um, the Let's Play board game did not work out. That was my own decision. Uh, I know some of you were a little mad that I did not do that. And I understand. I understand. I just, I personally didn't see a market for it. And when I brought it up, I never got much feedback on it. So, if you guys want that stuff, give us feedback. If we don't know if you're interested, we're not going to do it. 
Because you gotta remember, we're wasting our own time, guys. So let us know, man. Let us know. Now, somewhere down here is saved. You'll see there's one called Beginnings. We're gonna call this one Bones. And hit save. Oh, those are the cleaners. I think somewhere near character. You can see there I have some hunting. I know. I have uh, hunger, thirst, fatigue. I have two hunting experience. And we're going to get to eat and sleep. Oh. That means I lost a little bit there. I don't know what happened. I'm a little bamboozle. Alright. The bamboozle is like a bird. It's like a bamboozle on the bams. So I'm going to try to cut the bamboozle on the motherfucker. Come on! Come and get your little bit. Get with me, okay? I felt some shit fall apart. Green on you! That sounds like cat. One of those things around me. I'll probably stop on every left time I leave in a movie ever. By the way, why is it that the bad guy is always the boyfriend of the movies, you know? Like what, there are no crazy women? Just let me tell you, I've dated a few of them. No watch, I'm gonna get like feminist groups out of this that. I don't care. I have certainly dated my share of crazy ass uh ex yeah! so. Oh yeah, by the way. It's the right button apparently to catch butterflies, and I would have caught a few already. I don't know. We're also gonna catch some dragonfly here and get some fish and bait, see if we can get a fish in. Up here, but no, I mean, seriously, I you know, and if you do encounter crazy in your lifetime, guys, just remember, yeah, you didn't ask for crazy, it's not your fault, try to move past it, and uh, well, that's what something. I'm talking about. She gets better. My uh, word of the day, dear, word of the day, <laughs> not even a word. What am I talking about? My advice of the day, dear. Get over here, little sneaky dooky. Alright. Well, we're gonna try to build something else here now. Uh, vine? Oh no, you need more of them. Let's punch a tree. Now the hippies will go in. Great, I just said hippies, and now somebody's gonna be hippies. I don't care anymore. It's so crazy to me that we live in such a society. Everybody's just like funny by I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything here, but guys, can we just uh let's just relax a little, shall we? Can we just can we just do that? It works. Just relax a little, please. Maybe mellow the hell out a little. Just calm our day down. Try to oh gee, I don't know. Not be offended by everything. Have a little fun with life. It won't kill us, honest. Or maybe it will. I don't know. Okay, so we made a slingshot so we can do some hunting from far away. I need to keep getting leaves. I think I can get the leaves just on these trees though. Um, Doing simple pasta tonight. Nothing big. Nothing big. Simple pasta is good stuff, though. Um, I thought about doing, yeah, if I do, let's do cooking with tones. You guys have to tell me. I thought about doing some cooking like. Basically, I'd start with the bachelor foods, the bachelor stuff. And that goes for bachelorettes, too. And those of you who identify as transgender, look. I'm not gonna knock you out, alright? And I've said this before. To me, transgender people have physical attributes that are scientifically truthful. You all have physical things that are... Without getting into detail, you got your own thing going on. It, you're there, alright? It's... You, you got stuff. So for anybody to say, well, that you don't exist... I beg to differ. Um... Personally, that's my belief system on it. 
may not be somebody else's, and if they're gonna get all bent up out of shape about it, I suggest you get the fucking out of and move on with their day because we have worse shit in the world to worry about than that. Really. I mean, come on, guys. Are we really here? This is where we're at anyway. Let's mellow the fuck out, shall we? Now, why am I tearing this down after I just spent all this time doing it? I'll tell you why. Because it doesn't offer me any protection and it sucks. And any line with yourself is going to creep right up and kill me. And I know this because lions will kill you in this thing. Also, that dog over there is trying to kill me. Um, not really, but he's a little bit of a pain in my ass. Um, I do love that dog, though. He's adorable. He's just a nanny dog. His real name is not Mutant Dog, by the way. His real name is Little Boy. He's adorable. He is giant. So, the Little Boy moniker is actually sort of ironic. Sorry again, turtle. But we need some stuff. Out of that stuff, we need leather. This shows me what I can carry now. Dude, I feel like such a dick. I'm gonna really kill it for this. Um, I I'll tell you all a secret. One reason I do actually is because I used to have turtles as a kid. Um, now as you. I've said here, you can see that we have some different things. We have campfires we can build now. Um, 56, we have fences, and we have so two buildings. So really I need to build that fence to get the other building going. So we're gonna... No, you dick. I don't know what I did there. I guess I called myself a dick. Uh, one of our viewers said, and they noticed that I put myself down a Let's lot. Let's get yes, with the I building. Do. I, mean, I do kind of apologize for that, but I am, I do have very low self-esteem, naturally, so there's not much I can do about that. It's not exactly attractive, it's not something you want to know, but it is as real as it gets, and I am as real as it gets for so. There you go, it is what it is. I need ten, uh, ten of these... And then ten of the other thing. So I hate to give up meat, but I gotta give up meat. You know. Or else you're gonna set a campfire here, because any place we can set up a campfire to piss off those lions is good. Because we don't want lions messing with us because they will wreck your shit. Building site is ready. And that is no joke. G.I. Joe! Here remembers uh, those old weird almost 80s G.I. Joe ones that they redid again in like, what was it, the 90s? It was the early, earlier internet days when somebody found that they enjoyed a meme. And I'm not calling it a meme, kiss my ass. Um, but they found that they enjoyed doing memes of the. Yeah, you just got me to see Mamie. Because I know somebody's like, I'll get him to see Mamie, so whatever, I just did it for you early. But realistically, why Mamie? I know phonetically it's Mamie, but we disagree, me sounds better. It, it just sounds better. That's why I always talk about it. It is better. Also, there are ways, and I recommend highly it for survival. Once you light a campfire, light a branch on fire and hold it. It will hold no matter what. I don't have flint yet, so I'm fucked with that. Uh, what else do I have here? I have five sticks and three of those, so I well, let's at least get my branches done. So that's nine branches. That's ten branches. So now I just need some of the other stuff. Do I have flint? Do I have flint? I have one stone. Get it, flint stone? What did I do there, guys? Oh. Um, we have a spear. I'm not gonna hunt with a spear, though. One of the few people I know that actually does not hunt in this game at all with a spear. I've gotten into a debate with someone over this. 
time. It was very like the shadow is weird for that. But I don't I be don't... stupid. I just told you don't be stupid. Oh buddy. Too late for that one. But no. I mean there is there's a lot of uh And I should be upping my fishing still right now, but I'm too lazy. Um, oh yeah, speaking of fishing, why did you do that? Okay. The way fishing rods work, right? You cast off. Nothing. And you can eat most of this meat raw and all that. Like right through, you know, like salmonella. It's kind of weird. I feel like it should probably hurt you more than it does. Um, but every time you fish, your number goes up one. Once you get 20 and something, you do alright. Like, you even have a digging number, all that. You'll find ores, you'll find iron ore, all that. You get a hammer, you hammer them out in the rods. Your ultimate hunting weapon is this sort of like arbalest, which is a type of slingshot. You get iron rods after that and forget about it. Nothing stands against you. Um, it's almost like having god mode in this game. I kind of feel like a bit more of a challenge, so I stick with the slingshot for most of the game. And just do a lot of fishing and avoid muscle lions. Um, best I can. And I'm not gonna run. I've had enough to do now to do up the arborist. Because, yeah. I mean, it is just beast mode in this game. So did it there, folks? Beast mode. So we'll save day, day, day two. Not day two. Day two. The watch is gonna be a conspiracy. His name is Dave. I can tell you, my name is not Dave. Um, although I have had guesses already as to my name. I don't quite understand why it's that important to you all, what my name is. Um, and see this here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 25 for each number. You can check that there. I had a funny story for you all, by the way. I thought about doing GTA San Andreas, my favorite GTA. And then I'll tell you why. There are a number of reasons, but one is... One, it's the only GTA that had a system where you had to work out. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. That you actually had to try and, like, keep your beard in shape. Um, I thought that was kind of neat. You know what I mean? You had to keep him prepared. You had to keep him ready. Hungry, you know. If the guy got hungry, you had to keep him uh, aware of his surroundings. You had to keep him where he knew what he was doing. There are all these things that were going on in the whole dichotomy of this hood that your guy was in. You had to spray oh, yeah. your tag to keep your gang stronger. Um, instead of just being a game that was like, oh look, it's a bunch of black dudes and they're some ghetto things and being ghetto. And can we appreciate as well, guys, that had George Friggin Clinton, tons of Huge famous hip hop icons. Even the rapper the game voice him. If you don't believe me, look it up. Oh, there's our first type lion encounter, so we're gonna run like hell. There is a native. There is a real native. You can trade with him. I'm gonna see if I can swipe one of these puppies. Yeah, this will work. Yes, we got one. And I wish that dog would shush, but he's a dog, you know what can do? Forget the dog, guys. Sorry. You're just being a dog. Go forgive him, guys. I'm not gonna say he knows not what he does, because he knows what he does. He's being a dick, but... He's a dog, man. That's what they do. Uh, and we love him. He's cute. And you guys love him, too, because... You make questions. You make questions. We don't get a lot of... Um... Post more comments to us, guys. We like interacting with you guys. I get most of my questions uh, off Steam. So if you guys do want to add me on Steam, it's Predator Omega, aka the Honey Bunny. Um, but do feel free as well to go ahead and get 
this coffee. Yes, we found Flint. Flint is fantastic, and Flint works, works in two ways. I killed a spider, which I'm always happy about. Little sons of bitches. A little crab meat there. Crab. Anyways, like I was saying, right? So I was gonna do that. So I go and I install a few mods. Oh, yeah. Mod loader works fine. Um, now mind you, at the time I have GTA and if any, or not GTA, I have uh, Fallout 4. If any of you know, I'm a massive from the 90s Fallout Brilliant. 1 to uh, never did get to beat 3, even though I own the Game of the Year Edition 3. Like, I'm deep in it. Alright, I own 3. Never got to beat 3. Never even got to get 3 running because of Windows Games Live, whatever the hell that shit was. Never could get it running. Ever. So, thanks for that one. That was crushing my dreams there. Watch my Kasaka is going to give me some cease and desist letter. Kiss my ass. I'll let you get my game running. Then we'll talk. Threaten me. Smack your lips. As if. Oh, apparently they didn't like that either. Can I just use these? I think I can just use these. It works. Oh yeah. Like fire with it. I'm not trying to inspect them, you dick. I'm trying to. Oh right, I think I gotta. No, no, no. Okay, so if I hold them in my hand and use them, that's that. If I hold them like this and use them, then I think I try to. How do I make fire with them? Yeah. I I know you can find a lot of shit though out of bark. It works. So keep bark. Yeah, this will work. On you constantly. If you can. It works. Um. Flint. So, what our mission today is going to be is finding a second piece of flint to fire. For one thing, so we can improve our quality of life. Because flint, stone, see what I did there, guys? Um, fucking tiger, give me this thing. I'm gonna kill a tiger if I can. Get him out of our, uh, get him out of our hood. We're gangsters, see? We're gangsters, y'all. Let's say hi to, uh, let's say hi to this dude. Hi, are you friendly? Oh, hell! I'm a native of Ireland. What want? I want trade. I want to trade. So you trade a lot of stuff for bread. Do I bring bread? I bring you bread. Oh no, you trade me bread if I bring you this stuff. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. At least I know we gotta we've formed a barter system. It's a one-sided deal, I feel like. I bring you the bread. Right? Yeah, this will work. Or I bring you all the good shit. You just give me bread. Like I bring you spears and yeah. weapons. And I feel like I should, you know, give me shit. Give me some of the, give me some of the good weapons and shit. You're a native man. I'm not trying to be racist. Oh yeah. But pick a brother up. Teach me how to make some of that good shit. Up. Teach me how to make something. All right. Well, we got flint. Well, we got flint. Now, I know what that is. Now, this here, I believe, is an iron deposit. Um, there we go, iron. So, iron is going to let me get some better shit, guys. So, we're going to head back over to a little place, too. Pebbles are, of course, our animal person. So, we need as much as we can. I'll keep dropping all this stuff. But we're starting to play with fire here. And by play with fire, I mean we're literally going to make fire soon. You can see already we've got more shit. Now we have storages. Um, and on the way, we're going to keep scooping. You should always be scooping. Always. Always, every time you go anywhere, be scooping up the damn butterflies. Because you wouldn't think they accumulate. But before you know it, you'll have over a hundred, and then you'll oh, be that's what I'm talking about. able to carry a ton of shit. 
I can't quite picture how this works, so I figure he either stuffs him in his underwear, works. and they just, he's like Mr. Frilly Pants, and he's just like, airborne. Um, yeah. One of our fans out there, Brilliant. Uh, maybe like four years down the line when we should get popular, should totally do a drawing for us of just some dude just prancing works. around, giant ass. Um, just like a, just like a shipwrecked British guy, with just like giant ass underpants, would be hilarious. It's like butterflies out of. <laughs> it's the only thing I can, like they don't give you any context. I can't see how this, you know what I mean? Like I can't picture any other way that would work other than that. So to me, I think it's hilarious because I can't. There is no other way. That should be working. Do you know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, I, I don't know personally. I can't uh, see. Now, all right. Now, 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 there. See what I did? I'm like Jimmy Stewart there, didn't I? Guess. No, 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 no. You see? Now you see here. So what we're gonna do there is make a torch. Okay. Now. We have sacrificed one branch for that, but I'm telling you now, that is one of the most valuable things you will ever, ever make in this game. Do not lose that torch. I don't give a damn what else you make in this game, but you never lose that torch. Believe me, you will regret it if you do. Um, two things we can do now. First of all, we can cook. This is massively good. Because now that we can cook, you can hit use, you can cook your meat. And now every bit of that meat is going to be better to eat. And fill you up so much more than the other stuff. Now look at already the difference in how much we can carry, guys. Now this, we use, you know, whatever that this we use with a hammer, I believe. And then we have an iron. Um, so the iron rod we use with this, I believe. That would never work. Oh, oh sorry, pussy. And then this, and then we can have a pickaxe. Brilliant. Brilliant indeed. Um, and a pickaxe is a great weapon. Um, now, I'm going to change the order of things here. Pickaxe is going to be a tool. Um, I need. To make this number five, and uh, I have taken. What the fuck do I have this with number three? Let's make this number five, right? Let's make this number three. Yeah, good enough. So now we got stuff. We got number four is our fishing rod. We got a weapon on number three. We're going places, baby. We're going places. I remember, right click is how you do all this stuff. I'm really excited to finally be able to do this game for you guys. And I have a special game for you guys tomorrow. We're, we're going to do two Mdicky games this week. If you don't know Mdicky, holy shit. Boy, are you guys in for a special special treat. Mdicky is kind of like the M. Night Shyamalan game as far as... You know, he gets a lot of shit, but I'm not going to dog the guy. I like his game. I think he was a guy who wanted a singular vision for his game, and that was to push the envelope as far as he could. So, for example, if he had a wrestling game, right? One of my favorites. Wrestling Empire 2008. Right. We got our first fish, y'all. High five, virtual. High five the screen, son of a bitch. I'm going to Right there. Don't leave me hanging. Thank you. Oh. No, that's you. Not you. The shy one out there. Don't worry about you. Don't be afraid. What do you gotta be shy about? It's me. Buddy, by now, dude. Alright. We caught a fish together. We bonded. But, uh, you gotta admit, guys. Look at the, look at the lighting. No, I mean, it's not horrible. It's the game that came out quite a while ago, I'd say. Now we got some fish cooked. 
So, you know, we're not doing perfect, but we're doing alright, I think. I'm gonna hide behind this rock for the night as we sleep. We Our big goal tomorrow, I think, should be to... We're gonna eat some fish tonight before we sleep, too. Um, but anyways, uh, let's, let's get back to where M. Night Shyamalan and Jamie. I feel like you just got very ambitious, but like the wrestling game, for example. Um, dude, you can go nuts in matches, uh, and just totally, brutally beat people to the point where I've had wrestlers who have died in the ring. Um, you can change things about federations. Um, he was kind enough to give out his stuff, and I don't care how much y'all make fun of him. He could have been a dick and charged good money. The guy didn't. He gave all his stuff away for free. After a certain amount of years, he wasn't making enough money on it anymore. And instead of being a jerk, he, he decided, well, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to give it away free. So it was given away free. And I thought that was pretty cool of him. Uh, I myself decided that, uh, I didn't know what to, I didn't really know what to make of him at first. Um, but I, uh, actually had the pleasure of having some correspondence, uh, with Mr. Dickey. This is true now. Some of you will laugh, but I've actually really had some real correspondence with M. Dickey, uh, where we have spoken. He is actually quite a pleasant person to talk to. Um, and gives quite a bit of insight, actually, on gaming and the history of gaming and uh, where it's going, where he thinks it's going, things that he, um, he, he's got quite a fount of knowledge, if you will, um, about gaming. Um, so that was interesting to see. Um, we're gonna try to sneak over here a little, and grab some more of that iron and bring it back. Now that is some healing herb. Drink some water. Now, if you can't tell, you can actually down the road to build your own entire village. Which is my end game here, is to clear out some of these big ass trees. Replace them with my own village. And take over this little island. Oh, we got two Rory's right next to each other there, and two over there. Oh, Captain, this is not good. Three. What do you see? There's not a crouch button, so being ninja like is not in my uh, skill set right now. And I know that if I attract one of them, I will attract all of them. My best bet, honestly, would be simply to make the arborist, but I don't quite remember how. I know I need quite a bit of iron. I know I need some string, but I do have enough to do it. I would, at this point, like to make the herbalist because these things are weird me out. There's a lot of them. But I think I can find a lone lion right here to knock off and kill. We're gonna try to get his attention. Well, we have his attention. And, uh, use his hide to make my own red tent. So that I can be like that wheels in the sky from the journey song and be a lone wanderer. Like a Dion, baby. Like Dion. Anyway, so, a weird story going back, by the way, because I jumped into both a lot, I noticed. Sorry, guys. Um, is that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I think, uh, this weird little programming language called Cleo. Um, which, I don't know why that and Mod Loader aren't just the same thing. I don't know why, like, Mod Loader can't handle the same shit Cleo can. Can somebody please explain that to me? Because Cleo, I think, is Python based, if I remember. For well, some reason, that stopped my Fallout 4 from working. Um, I'm not kidding you. It actually stopped working entirely. So that it was no longer working right. Um, which sucks, let me tell you. Because I had that puppy heavily modded. Heavily modded. Um, and it looked awesome. 
So, of course, I did everything that one might do. You know, I did the sad face, I was like Mew, I was not too thrilled about it, I, I made some random swear words, I'm sure. It was, not, it was not a pretty picture, guys. Not a pretty picture at all. Um... So, yeah, I mean, you know, it was what it was, guys. It was what it was. Don't be stupid. I'm not being stupid. You're, you're stupid. Um, so no. I mean, I, I don't really know for sure, but since uh, I've decided to take a little vacation, you ever do that? You take a vacation from one of the Bethesda games and you move to another? Like, rotate them? And I am trying to get back into Skyrim. The problem with a lot of these games, though, is... It's not working! Then, it's a matter of modding them. So then it's like, oh my god, I forgot how many mods this one had that I liked that I put in there. As if. Do I feel like putting all of them working. in there? I don't remember. Is this viable As to if. do? Can I do all this? Is it that worth doing work. all that? I don't know. So that's kind of my uh, problem no. now, is I'm trying to decide where I'm at with that, if that makes sense. Um... I don't know, dude. Okay, so now I've made 20 iron bolts. Now I think I need iron bolts. This. These. A hammer. That doesn't work. And this. Ah, let's see all these things here. And I only need more string, and then we're going to have the air blitz, so... Oh, I hate to say it, but we're going to just go straight into Flavor Town and whoop some straight up ass. And be a brute. Top it on play. I'm going to keep my slingshot as a backup weapon. No, oh, no. I hate knowing that I just straight up killed a whole end of world, but times are tough, baby. Times are tough. What would Ash from Evil Dead do? That's what I ask myself all the time. Hurts to live by, folks. And if you're not, why, why aren't you? Alright, so. We'd be stroking. the song. Get over it. See the comments now. It says that time that one YouTube lady. I don't even remember her name. Let's move that one YouTube lady. Is it on YouTube? She was a Twitch lady, I think. But 4chan went nuts on her. Because apparently they caught her making some weird face and thought she was a little busy with herself. And, uh, she didn't help me either. She made an awkward face. I think on purpose. To kind of, uh, nope the, specula the speculation for views. Which, you know, kudos to her. She got her views. And she knew what she was doing. She knew it was good comedy. And it was good comedy. And she seemed to have a good sense of humor about it. Oh, so, yeah. Hey, if you can, why not? Now, what did we have our swing show as? Puff has got a brand new bag, baby. Three. Now, a few small things here. The slingshot, easier weapon. This puppy, not so much. But, this thing is brutal. Um, the only problem is it needs lots of ammo. There are 10 seal bolts, it's not going to be enough. So what we're going to do right now, is we're going to go and get it more bolts. I hope this native dude is just so chill wandering around. And afterwards, we're going to become the Terminator. And go and do some serious lion killing. So that I can make enough shit for my tent. And from there, we're going to go deep. How deep? Ask me how deep. 
I did not need to get that close to weird native nipples out of the blue. Um, but pretty deep. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if the Cleo thing interrupted that or if it was just dumb luck. Can any of you confirm that? Have you had something similar happen? I don't know. Um, it's the only thing I can think of, though. Oh, shit, I'm just wasting these. I could have done that, that I know of. Because ever since I stopped using that Cleo thing, I've had zero trouble. Zero trouble. When it's come down to running both San Andreas and uh, Skyrim, even though I have got to run the Skyrim. Oh, because, hey, Jesus H, I have 90,000 mods to put into it, as one does. I'm sure you all understand that lovely plate. Um, so, who knows? Um, somebody told me I didn't need to even install Cleo. There's like a zip version. I had installed it, and maybe that was a problem. That I had ran an installer version. Um, I already have Python on my computer, so maybe that messed it up with Nexus Mod Manager. Because what was happening is, I started one day, and it was fine, totally fine, but some new update for Fallout 4 made it so that I had to rechange the permissions and get full permission and make both executable as admin. Well, then, then they still leak. I get rid of Cleo, problem solved. Uh, and I know it was Cleo on that respect, or at least I believe it was. I don't know it was, but I believe it was, and I'll tell you why. Um, because I didn't get rid of it that soon. I was stupid enough to delete out of frustration Fallout 4. As many of us who get uh, frustrated with things that does the game sometimes. And I did that, and then I went ahead and gotten annoyed with it, and uh, all, all that good crap. That's my all that good crap. Did you enough. expect that to work? And uh, yeah, now we got some ammo going here. Alright, well, I don't know how much I have. Come on, there's gotta be more than 10 iron bolts. I'm really that hoping doesn't work. the dog is not losing his junk again. I don't know what his deal is today, he's just been... Woo! Crazy. You know? Um... Okay, no, no, I think another door is much greater, it's like 80, 110. Once you get to about that, then you can pretty much ditch the slingshot and you're in the money when it comes down to having a deadly killing machine weapon. Don't be stupid. And, uh, frankly, you really won't need a backup weapon in this. Um, melee in this is a joke. You're, you're not gonna kill align with a melee weapon. I try to keep the slingshot, but you don't really need to keep the slingshot, but I do anyway. Um, I will, however, go to sleep for now. I'm going to save my game, however, now that I've done all this. So I feel like it's stupid not to. And we're almost done with this let's play, I'm afraid. Now it's time to do the killing, you know. There we go. Right mouse button switches ammo. We're gonna start the killing. We're gonna start it right here. Oh my god, yes, I know I'm hungry. Let's eat. Uh, so no. I, uh, I don't know, man. But yeah, I started to do, uh, Fell in New Vegas, couldn't get half the mods to install. Nexus Mod Manager kept whining at me and no, oh, can't install this script, baby, baby, script error. Uh, once the same thing happened to Skyrim, I noticed 
There's no way all these are just my managers. Something else is going on here. So that's when I totally wiped out my copy of San Andreas. Which sucked, because that's some good tunes on there. You know how you can have like that photographer. But I was mad. So I did all of it. The whole thing, man. I was like, you know what? Screw all of it. Doing it all. Um, now look at how quick, by the way, that laid waste to that thing. All of it. We're going to control the breeding areas and their population on this island as well. They're now a food source there. They're no longer the predator. I am the predator. I make the noise, but I'm not really good at it. But it would be badass. Man. There's one of the little things right there, so I try to tap these two. 360 no scope, double tap to the head. I can't carry all of this. Oh, shit. Um, well, we can ditch all of these. No, just ditch. Oh, wait, oh. Ditch all four of them. Uh, hell, I don't know. I need these other skins. And then, get out of here. And then, uh, yeah, so basically what this is, is the things here. Yeah, this will work. You're welcome. Uh, basically what this is here is the... Removal of Cleo instantly made all that work so much better. Where all of a sudden I would install that work fine. Now, is it coincidence? I don't know. Um, I think it should be coincidence. I don't understand why the two would even matter. Not only are they totally different games, I just don't see why they would matter at all. Uh, am I nuts? Is there any semblance of truth to this, guys? Does it matter? Can someone confirm or deny this? It would help me out a lot to know this. Just for my own friggin' peace of mind. On whether or not, uh, I'm crazy on this or not. I probably am. I don't know. So, confirm or deny, what do you guys think? Uh, have you guys noticed any proof of this? Is there any proof of this? Uh, I've looked it up and I can't find anything on the internet about it. No forums, no nothing. I only have noticed people that play GTA, oh, yeah. not the biggest Skyrim players, so... You know, those two groups are not exactly chilling out talking about the, the two games together. So, you tell me, I don't know. Um, what your thoughts are on it. Is it a thing? Am I crazy? Or is this a real thing? Now I'm gonna leave that one over there. But I feel like there are too many over here together. And see how many were lumped in one space? That's what I'm saying. I want a decent number of guys around the island, yes, but I don't want them up my ass every time I'm trying to build, breathe, or pee. I don't want to lie and bite me, me in the ass while I'm trying to urinate, you know? And have that shit. And that's that's your fetish. I don't judge you. That's my right. thing, baby. My thing. Get over here. Get over here. Works. I need all of you. Get in the bird catcher's nest. Sit up a also, you would not yeah, get this that. Yeah, this from a Mozart play called No Magic Group that I read in high school. Yeah! Um, again, I actually read it the first time in grade school, but I read it at a much higher reading level than a lot of kids in my uh, school did. Um, and actually, if you're fancy giving me shit about role play games, then drag them in here and let them play this part. Mom, Dad, I actually owe my reading, my bigger vocabulary yeah, to this my work. brother, who I wanted to be cool like, play Dungeons and Dragons, and at the time, instead of nerds playing it, because it was new right. and popular, and we didn't have the internet, all of the hip kids played it, 
So therefore, I had all these giant words like encumbrance and charisma and, you know, uh, all these other words, and I wanted to know what all of them meant. So it upped my vocabulary at a much younger age than most of the other kids that I knew who didn't have older brothers who played that or who just didn't know what that stuff meant. So I kind of had a good advantage thanks to that and went on to, I think by the time I was in third grade, I was reading six seventh grade, eighth grade books. Brilliant. You know, also I was in a great age of choose your adventure books. So Way of the Tiger, Free Star Warrior, Lone Wolf. Um, and those were great equalizers, right. because it didn't matter if you were a nerd, a jock, popular, not popular. Every kid in my school that was kind of in the same grade, we would trade those back and forth, so if, like, somebody got them, you know what I mean? They'd be like, oh, dude, Bones, obviously not Bones, it's in my name. Uh, got this, you know, Lone Wolf, do you have that one? No, I have this one. We'll go talk to him and see if he'll trade it to us for, you know, something else. And I'd be like, hey, do you have this free ray warrior? No. But I got this way of the tiger one. Oh, you know, shit, I've been wanting to read that one. Oh, cool. Well, so-and-so wants to read this one. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give this one to you guys for a week. Uh, can I borrow this one for a few days? And then maybe that one for a few days. Okay, cool, man. So, it was really weird to be in that time because it was almost an unspoken rule. Oh, yeah. Not only for that, but you also didn't mess up another person's book. And it wasn't like, oh, well, I'm being polite and just being, like, huggy-duggy. You just didn't do it. It was It just wasn't like, it wasn't a thing of being nice or not nice. You just didn't. It wasn't... I don't know how to really explain it. I feel like nowadays you get a lot of people that do fake shit. Just to uh, try and no. be cool, you know what I mean? Or just to try and be... You know what I mean? They're like, oh, we're socially aware, we're socially conscious. It wasn't that. It was just... Don't... You don't shit where you eat. The saying goes. And that's what we had. You know, we had that understanding that for us... And this is where we're gonna leave it, y'all. Within about an hour, or however long it took us, we made a tent. Made an arbalist, the best weapon in the game. I showed you how to do that. Right mouse button. Um, clicks, and you can actually use the tiger's claws and teeth as future ammo. Works with the slingshot too, by the way, I believe. And they're quite deadly. Um, they're pretty good. So I am going to show you my character sheet here. So I got a little points here in fishing. At 25, I get a chance that I can catch something places without fish. When I am all the way to the top, um, I, my gains with the rod are now truly satisfying. If I remember there, at one point I can catch fish without even needing bait guaranteed all the time. Like, all the time. So I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to save it. Yes. And, anyways, uh, so make sure that you guys subscribe, there will be a link to this game, the exact page for it, just click download. There was like an old Windows Vista to fix, it's already applied in this one. You can either get the installer, which I recommend, because it's a no-brainer, or if you know how to use zip files, you just unzip it to a folder. Uh, Right-click the exe file, make a desktop icon, and uh, enjoy it. But either way, enjoy it. And if you want it to look better for your desktop, and you don't like the desktop resolutions, they look too big and too blocky and too weird, uh, Google widescreen fix. And even if you suck with computers, I promise you, you can fix it. It's an easy fix. It takes two seconds. You open a notepad file. You type in, like, two numbers. You hit save. You restart the game. Done. Out of my three, this is my pick. You guys have now seen all three, what do you think? Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't. Share us on Facebook, Twitter, all over your media. Uh, let us know. We'll be back with more. And uh, I'm Bones. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to throw us a like. 
don't forget to click the button to subscribe so just click subscribe uh, or ESP subscribing as long as it actually works and subscribe to us whatever I'm in charge okay you guys have a great day see ya